So my name is Lillian and I live in Ghana. I just want to give my thought on the Miss Trudy Ugandans dragging on Twitter. So I just want to give my one cent for many reasons, namely the fact that I am also a YouTuber and I vlog about another country that I'm not originally from. And then second reason is because I have gone through that phrase before in my life and sometimes I'm still going through it. And thirdly, because I have an opinion to give at the end of the day. So I felt like this is a perfect opportunity for me to talk about this. These are not my usual types of video, all right? But we talk about these things, especially when we can relate. For me, I can relate and here is how. So Miss Trudy said something in one of her video when she traveled to Uganda to create content. A lot of Ugandans didn't like that and they came for her. They didn't just come for her to assassinate her character for what she has said, condemn her for saying that or for her she reacted over that particular thing that they said she has said that they didn't like. They went as far as, you know, describing her, she looks, how her face is, how she's this, how she's that. You know, it gets really disrespectful just because you think someone has made a mistake. Let's talk about what her offense is. Ugandan said she shouldn't have expressed shocked that she saw something in Uganda that uh, she shouldn't have said, oh, I didn't know they have this too in Uganda. She should have just kept quiet or say, oh, okay. I don't know how they expected her to do it, but they didn't want her to have said anything. How dare you say you are surprised or you are shocked to have seen this? Eh? So does that mean that you are saying we are not? So they misunderstood her and made a mountain of it. So this is how difficult it is to create content, especially if you're a lifestyle tra uh, content creator, it gets really difficult. It gets crazily hard, like time stand harder than other creatives like those that sit down to give their opinion about issues those that say things they don't know they don't even know those that okay maybe those that hate on other countries yeah you see the other country will applause them they will love them the videos will be massive like they get lots of views but you as a content creator who as a content creator who goes out there to show people things, to vlog about things, share your experience, you tend to get into trouble like times 10, fast and like with speed. So that's the case of Miss Trudy in Uganda. And that brought me back to the fact that Africa, I don't know why we are like that. A Ugandan or a Nigerian or Ghanaian or Kenyan or South African is is, is ready to tolerate a white YouTuber who comes into their country and say what they like, do what they like and go. But we cannot tolerate our own, it is just crazy. I remember the other time that this other YouTuber, there's this channel called, um, there's a channel on YouTube here, the name of that channel is Indigo Traveler. That guy, what that guy does is when he goes to your country, the first thing he do is go straight to the slum no matter how difficult it is it takes for him to locate one he will do whatever it takes for him to visit the slum and interview the people at the slum you know them saying something about their struggle he will film it he will take them to their their, their houses he just want to bring that negative picture of africa to the world and that is what he does i I was very surprised. He did that in Nigeria. Nobody said a thing. That, it was through that channel that a lot of people got to know that we have Mankoko in Nigeria, the floating ghetto, the floating slum in Nigeria. It was through that channel that a lot of people got to know about that place called Mankoko in Nigeria. I thought maybe yes, after all, eh, everybody is angry with Nigeria, so he's doing it just you know it's just doing it because it's nigeria and we can't talk because what is it after all it's true the place exists i was just saying jack and robinson this guy was in ghana in the month of december they just about the same time i visited cape coast that was when this guy this guy this guy came into you know ghana and the first thing he did was he went to a certain slump here in accra and vlog about the slum, you know, open people's houses, enter their home, interview them. And 
interviewed them and they you know took advantage of these poor people who truly needs help and they felt like maybe if they speak for the camera help will come to them you know he did all that i was so surprised because nobody complained nobody said a thing nothing nobody reacted nobody condemns him i mean nobody condemned him everything was just perfect at about the same time I was in Cape Coast, that was when he made his way all the way from Accra, Ghana to Cape Coast. He went to, I didn't know there was a ghetto in Cape Coast, for God's sake. I didn't know. Okay, maybe because I didn't ask or because to me, I'm, I'm looking at life beyond that, you know, beyond separation of the poor and the rich, you know. So this guy was able to locate a slum in Cape Coast. Cape Coast, you'd be surprised that... Is this Cape Coast? Because the Cape Coast that you know is not the one that he showed to other people. But nobody complained. Nobody. I have seen a lot of white YouTubers going to that same Uganda. That same Uganda. I have seen a lot of content creators going there to film, you know, do what they like, go to the villages, say things that they like do whatever they, they like and just go away nothing happened but just look our fellow african just saying oh wow pleasant surprise oh wow so your hair is long i didn't know your hair is long for example please oh i didn't know your hair is long oh i thought all this while i thought your hair is short oh my god it's so beautiful this is for example if you want to know what she said that go her into trouble please our channel is there you can head there see the video yourself but for me, I didn't see anything that she said there that warrants the kind of insult that came. And you may want to say, oh, okay, leave it. It's what can it? Nothing. It's nothing. It's something. You see this social media dragging? It's, a, it's as painful as the real life bullying. Because it, as a matter of fact, in real life, out here, like off, off social media, off the internet, on here, it's very difficult to see someone that will look at you and insult you, say, okay, see you this, see you this. There's a kind of fear they have towards that, doing that, because they know they can't, they may not be, they, they know you're not going to just walk away or you're not just going to leave them without retaliation. But you see on social media, people will drag you and it hurts so bad because you just feel like maybe saying it back to them or giving it back to them, but you don't even know who you're giving it to. You know, maybe the person will come back to read the comments or something. It, it makes it, that is what makes uh, social media bullying a lot more difficult to handle than, you know, physical one. So before we start to tell people, leave it, leave it. For me, last year, I had, you know, last year I was, you know, just doing my thing. There are a lot of Nigerian YouTubers that live in Ghana before me, to get it. A lot of Nigerian YouTubers that live in Ghana way before me. But when I came here and I started doing this, um, because I love those, those types of, you know, I love those attraction sites. It's just something that I love. And I love greenish area. And I love nature. I love anything that is so natural especially when you see a place that is just as real as it is even when nothing is done to make it beautiful and the place look great so i started going traveling around you know ghana as a nigerian there are other there are other youtubers that have been in in, in ghana bef way before me before i came but when i came and i love those I, I started doing those type of videos. I didn't even know I was going to get views, but I did them because I love it. And I didn't know that I could see a place like that or places like that in Ghana. So when I started to do them, you know, I just don't know what happened. Like, I cannot say what happened. I cannot say what exactly I did wrong. Okay, the fellow Nigerian sat down. It felt like I was getting too much. He now sponsored hate towards me. It was so devastating. As in, I became afraid to open my own YouTube comment section because all I see there is people dragging me, calling me names, I go back to your country, do this. And what is my offense? Nothing. I didn't do anything. It's not like I've said anything. Well, okay, yeah, I made a video sharing my struggle this is me that lives in ghana i talked about me trying to rent and not being able to rent because i'm a nigerian i came here i cried about it if you know me you know i'm very emotional and 
at that time i was stressed so the only way i could you know pour it out and just leave it as it is was for me to cry and that was not because i wanted sympathy or want to make anybody looks you know bad it was just as real as it was at the time a lot of people didn't like that fact hey why will you say that go to your country go to your country because i've said i couldn't i didn't want to go i want to stay in another country so this is how difficult it is when you make content about another country i am learning from miss trudy and it's kind of consoling and comforting to know that i am not alone this thing can happen to anybody and everybody at any time at everywhere no matter how good you think you are no matter how big you are okay is it what am i what if i have got into trouble many times african tiger is going to trouble if i go why are we like this why are we like this let us change our attitude man let us change it's not fair okay let us treat people with oneness that is why i am against the borderless africa please there's nothing like i don't want borderless africa because borderless africa is a scam okay because africans do not build their borders at the borders like the landing borders our borders are built here in our heads you know that border is in our heads so bad that some people are so tribalistic ah they can kiss somebody for the tribe so let us change our attitude okay this is not for ugandans alone this is to Ghanaians, nigerians south africans kenyans i i really have not seen any country that have not dragged a fellow african country so bad because a creative have said uh, something that didn't go down where we maybe for me last year in one of my videos last year i went to a brewery last year and the weather changed that was truly a surprise for me because i didn't know that the weather is like that so i was shocked to see the weather change at a breeze so you know the weather changed it was snoring it was raining at different times things were just happening on top of the mountain and i shared my experience i was like a nigerian is shocked to see these changes a lot of people came at me why will you say you are shocked to see uh, you nigerians you think it's only your country that is that <sighs> what did i see i was asking myself what exactly did i see and this thing happened at about the time that this guy was sponsoring people against me you know organizing his group against me to come at me for nothing just because he felt like okay uh, you you want to be better than me let me drag you down they drag me down syndrome they drag you down syndrome is killing us so please take a pause take a break the good thing is this is happening to someone that is already big with a lot of you know subscribers that has a big platform it, we get to see it you know a lot of people get to see if it happens to someone like me um that is a small creative i still have a smaller audience you come out here to say it just a few people will hear it and some people hear it and misunderstand it it is so crazy let, as a matter of fact we can do better let us change our attitude let's love one another as african because we go out there the europeans and the americans other people are bullying you for being african they don't even know the difference and they come back to your own continent you can't sneeze so let us change for some of us we have been able to find our grants you know get to win the hearts of a lot of people because only time can tell right so be patient with people and not be quick to think when they say they are surprised about something especially people that lives or have are visiting that town i mean that country at that time all right so this is my take so you guys should calm down miss trudy please i'm glad she's strong this is not me reacting because i'm a big fan no it has nothing to do with that this is not me reacting because uh, it's me reacting because these things are happening and they are affecting all of us okay so thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next one change attitude today love let's love lead africa okay stop building your boundaries in your head okay leave it let's love one another let us love one another all right, guys. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.